Hi, Wendy Schultz here, CEO and founder of The Simple Life Hospitality. Today I want to talk to you about short-term rentals and some of the rights that you have as a property owner and also some of the regulations that have been coming down the pike. So, um, just a little bit of background. Short-term rentals are defined as rentals under 30 days. And back in, um, I think 2017, yeah, 2017 to 2019 state budget, for the state of Wisconsin, they passed a law that you um, that municipalities could not ban short term rentals. They could regulate them, but they couldn't ban them. So um, there are some rights that you have as a property owner to rent your property on a short term rental basis. Uh, make sure that you do some research on your rights and um, see what that all entails. Some of it is that they can um, require you to get permits. They may um, limit the rentals to a certain number of minimum nights. They may they um, can limit it to only six months out of the year. And there's other things you may have to pay a permit fee. You'll need to file room and sales tax. There might be things that you're going to need to do, but um, you they could not be overly onerous and you just need to do some research to figure out what those rules are and what um, you'll need to do for your particular municipality. So what's going on right now? Um, so there's this, there's been short term rentals around forever. And recently, they've become more and more popular. So they're starting to infiltrate uh, different residential neighborhoods. And um, they're starting to have uh, different town boards are looking at regulating these even in places that they've been around for a very, very, very long time. So just be very aware as you're doing some searching for a new property, or if you have a property and you're looking to do a vacation rental in it, make sure you go to the town board, or sorry, the town page, contact the town, figure out what it is that they have in place for short-term rentals. It could be a permit that you need to apply for, you may need to provide insurance, you may need to limit um, your stays to a certain number of people based on your septic tank size. You may need to um, limit the stays to a certain number of minimum nights. So you may also need to have someone within a certain vicinity of your property. So just as you're doing your research before you get yourself into trouble and going about it the wrong way, do your research to see what is out there. And if you're purchasing a property, you may want to do some research to find out if there's anything on the table that they're talking about now. So um, you might find that there's nothing quite yet, but they're talking about something and there's something likely to come down the pike in a little bit. So um, that's my recommendation. Make sure you follow the rules. Uh, make sure that you're looking at what it is that you need to do. And, um, you know, also be sure to fight for your rights too and make sure that you go to the town board if you don't if you think the regulations are onerous and unwarranted be sure to go and fight those as well um, there have been different towns that have overturned or have um, negotiated uh, their their policies because of owners going and uh, presenting a very compelling case to do so so Hope that helps. Have a great night.